remember when I first played to students, some of them would just leave the hall because my instruments looked obsolete. But then I kept exposing them to their own music. And uh, now um, they are responding to it. After the reggae and the rest, they have time now for their own traditions. This urban drive, urban exodus, people leaving their homes, villages, to find jobs in cities. And then there was this use of leisure. They had plenty of leisure after a normal day's work, so the idea of dance halls you know, came to be. Acoustic instruments like that wouldn't do in a dance hall. And then the Abasa, Abasa, you give me Saka. She says, Through your wife, you're not possible. You know, I'm saying, Shaka, you're not going to be a bad day. Shaka, you're not going to be a bad day. Shaka, you're not going to be a bad day. 
Her life has got many rhythms and patterns. People of today like most of the her life that are danceable too. What about the use of electric instruments? Has that made her life change a great deal? Oh yes, uh, considerably because uh, you know, to amplify, you see, to amplify a song uh, tries, you know, changes uh, everything, even tonation. Like this, amplification can change your natural tone and everything. So it's considerably changing, you see, uh, the pattern. <laughs>
as well as the lyrics can change a man, can let a man move, have emotional feelings in a man. And so we hope to better the rhythm rather than changing the lyrics. OK, Shagan, should we run one? Tell me if levels are OK. It's good. How are your headphones? Good? Good. You're back! Music name, the rare one. Your pop music name, the rare one. To it, I'm by Joe, your pop. 
of your pop it is sufficient of fun a flow beat just music reggae coupled with juju That is what we call your pop music. Your papa pull a sound. The second one day, Wale. Oh, 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 oh. Your pop music, baby. Do you think I'm what? Your pop music, baby. Do you think I'm what? 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 Benokri and I'm talking with Shagun Wadewale, who um, the press has uh, recently crowned the uh, new prince of Juju music. Um, one wants to introduce Shagun in all kinds of ways, but I suppose the best way to introduce him is by saying that Shagun has emerged from um, a terrain of Nigerian music that has been held very firmly by two former giants. It's good to welcome a new voice and a new talent. This is Shagun Wadewale. Thank you. Your pop music, baby, no, no, no. The Riga Wa. Your pop music, baby. The Riga Wa. 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 After all, music was coming from the world that's, to us. That's right. Why can't music from us go to the world? Yes. Right from the world go, since I started music, I believe, I believe I'm part of music. Music is part of me. Music comes from Africa. Africa is the home base of, of good music. Of good music. Not just music. Not just music. But good music. And, um, a special kind of music? Yes. Yeah. I 
I do not play a particular brand of highlight, but I play, you see, um, all kinds of highlight. Uh, normally, what I hate to do is to compose a song uh, and let it seem the same. What I mean is, when you hear about 10 of my songs, they will have different interpretation, different rhythms, and all that. You see, but I, I wouldn't say there's a, a very particular thing about my life. The only particular thing is uh, almost all my songs are very philosophical. students at the University of Lagos, and the tune struck me, so I started to sing about curfew, uh, which is imposed on the people of Ghana during this revolution. There was a student in the audience who was very moved with my performance, so I, I felt he, he had a special you see, love for me, I called this boy and asked of his name. He, he, he told me it's called Abu Aji. So I began with a song that uh, Abu Aji, I'm going to sing about you, about the curve you love. Abu Aji, One evening, we were chatting nicely, and before we were aware, Kefi was about to eat him up. Uh, I asked Abuagi to spend the night with me, but he said he has to go back before the Kefi hours. So what should I do? I had to give him my car. So Abuagi went with the car. She met a girl, Abuagi picked her up, and they were chatting along the road. And what I said was, uh, Abuaji was so unlucky that since he came of age, he's never won a, a girlfriend before. So uh, as they were going along, uh, he didn't have the idea to talk of love to this girl because he knew that it might fail. So when he reached Legon Junction, he told the girl that uh, you will come down. Uh, I'm, this is the place I think I, I can help you to drop. So the next day, he was in classroom when he had a call that a visitor was waiting outside. He went and found it was the girl. So he went to the room with the girl. Uh, 
Uh, the girl had prepared a nice and delicious meal for him. They enjoyed together and they had conversation. It was about eight o'clock and Abu Aji reminded the girl that, look, yesterday it was curfew. I do, I, we don't want to repeat it today. There's no car to take you anywhere you want. And the girl said, no, today <laughs> it's me eating into the cave you myself, so I'm not going, I'm sleeping here with you tonight. And so, through that, Abaji engaged the girl and married her. I'm very proud and happy to become a musician. I feel I must work hard because I've got a lot to do by, you know, speaking in terms of music to the people to change the characters of the bad ones, see, to live a, a very better life. Not only Ghanaians, but the whole world as well. So I have a lot to do, and I pray to God that he helps me to achieve my goal.